Have you ever wondered what was outside of Earth and what was in space? This question started out space exploration. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to H and H Knowledge Hub. This month, we will be learning about space, and today's topic, we will be learning about how space exploration really began. In October of 1957, the Soviet Union launched its first satellite, Sputnik 1, into low Earth's orbit. This was the beginning of the space age. Sputnik 1 was a sphere and was only 585 millimeters in diameter that contained only 3.5 kilograms of radio transmitter. Sputnik 1 was the first step into space exploration. After Sputnik 1 was launched, the United States understood the advantages of placing technology into space. In response to the Soviet's launch of Sputnik 1, the U.S. launched the satellite Explorer 1 on January 31, 1958. This was the start of the space race between the Soviet Union and the United States. The space race was a competition between the United States and the Soviet Union to see which country would make the most advanced technology to send people into space. This competition lasted from 1955 to July of 1975. In the same year that Explorer 1 was launched, the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, or NASA, was formed. Its purpose was to head up a program of research and development for the conquest of space. It was not until the 1960s that the first rockets capable of launching space capsules were built and tested. All that was needed to explore space was to place astronauts inside these capsules. Suborbital spacecraft do not orbit Earth because they do not reach the required speed and altitude. So these flights spend only a very short time in space. The first crewed suborbital spaceflight missions were NASA's Mercury project in 1961. On May 5, 1961, a Redstone rocket launched astronaut Alan B. Shepard Jr. aboard a capsule called Freedom 7. Shepard flew safely for 15 minutes before returning back to Earth. The second suborbital flight, which took place on July 21, 1961, was the one which took astronaut Virgil Grissom. Although the capsule sank shortly after splashing down the Atlantic Ocean, Grissom was rescued safely. Orbital crewed spacecraft completely orbit Earth. The first crewed orbital space flight was made on April 12, 1961. By Soviet Union Air Force pilot Yuri A. Gagarin aboard Wasco 1, Gagarin orbited Earth for 108 minutes before parachuting safely back on Earth. On July 21, 1961, John H. Glenn Jr. observed Earth from space as he became the first American to orbit Earth. Glenn completed three orbits of Earth in less than five hours. On June 16, 1963, cosmonaut Valentina V. Tereshkova became the first woman in space. She orbited Earth 48 times over a three-day period. Meanwhile, the United States was developing plans for a two-person crewed Gemini program. Ten crewed Gemini missions would follow. One goal of the Gemini program was to see if astronauts could spend longer periods of time in space. The first American to take the walk in space was Edward H. White, the second on June 3rd, 1965. Hope you all enjoyed this week's video. Next week we'll be having space exploration part two. Be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.